Hello, I'm Daddy Navogeda with the top stories on Al Jazeera. Egypt's deposed president Hosni Mubarak has been released from prison and taken to a military hospital. It follows his successful appeal against detention. But Egypt's interim government has ordered him to be put under house arrest. Mike Hanna reports from Cairo. There's widespread awareness that he is not being set free, uh, that he is going to continue to face a number of uh, charges in separate courts. The corruption charge is ongoing. He will be appearing in court again on Sunday to face charges in connecting, uh, connection with the uh, complicity in the killing of civilians during the revolution in 2011. So there is this awareness that he's not getting off scot-free. He is still going to be facing judicial process. Also, the fact that the interim government acted very quickly to insist that he goes into house arrest. This is another factor that he will not be seeing walking completely a free man. France has called for the use of force in Syria if claims of a chemical weapons massacre by the government prove to be true. But Foreign Minister Laurent Fabius excluded troops on the ground as an option. Activists say more than a thousand people were killed in Wednesday's attack. Disgraced Chinese politician Bo Zhilai has denied a charge of corruption at the start of his trial. He was dismissed last year in a scandal that saw his wife jailed for murder. Robert Mugabe has been sworn in for another five-year term as the president of Zimbabwe. President Mugabe's ceremony took place at the packed National Sports Stadium in Harare. You can find the latest on all those stories and much more at aljazeera.com.